Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sustainable Inclusive Business. My name is Ebenezer Amadi. Now COVID-19, once it was declared a pandemic, we have seen the private sector being the hardest hit uh, sector and most sectors are facing challenges during this period. Today we want to take a look at the tourism sector and today I'll be joined with Gabriel Novak, who is the CEO of Soundworld Safaris, to delve deeper into this discussion. My name is Gabriel Novak. I operate and run Sunworld Safaris for the last 23 years and we are based here in Nairobi, Kenya and we run a tour company and also Mara Bush Camp which is a small luxury camp in the Masai Mara Game Reserve. Five weeks ago our world really turned upside down almost overnight. We have literally lost all bookings with immediate effect and uh, business is zero for the last five weeks now. There is no income whatsoever, which poses a lot of challenges for us as a company. Uh, one is of course the salaries and wages that we have to pay, but also expenses that continue to be there. As much as you are trying to cost cut, it is important to um, look at um, you know, the long-term effects of this crisis, a crisis that we have really not anticipated and that is very uncertain and unprecedented. So we have about 65 Safari Land Cruisers that are currently parked in our yard without any movement um, and any business in the last five weeks. We employ 45 permanent driver guides uh, that are on our payroll um, and we have a total of about 200 staff members that we employ both at Sunworld Safaris and Mara Bush Camp. Um, profits at the moment are non-existent and this is purely to survive this period and to overcome those long, long months without any income. Um, I am sure we will overcome them as we have overcome many other challenges in the past, but it will require team effort um, and it will require a lot of out-of-the-box thinking and different business ideas to go forward. Um, it is quite challenging and very difficult because my team is most important to me. Um, they are really what makes Sunworld Safaris and Mara Bush Camp and their welfare in the long run is what of course concerns me and what we also need to look out for. As we have some staff members that are working from home, the majority at the moment is on their paid leave. Um, and we will have to think about salary cuts right after this. Um, some team members are working from home and we are keeping in touch on both um, Skype or Zoom or um, on phone. And this does work fairly well. Uh, probably a little less productivity than when they are right in the office and you can communicate from person to person. But it's not an impossibility and um, certainly an idea of how we could go forward if it's absolutely necessary this way. So COVID-19 has definitely made us think out of the box in some aspects. Um, there is always a silver lining to every crisis. Immediately when this crisis hit, I started to collect donations from some of our clients through our newsletters and we are now distributing every second day in Korokocho to needy families food, um, you know, different types of food that are necessary, but also soap, which we feel is very important at this point uh, to keep hygiene and to sanitize. And um, our Mara Bush Camp actually collected old and used vegetable oil. We got together with a company called Akusi Limited, uh, Akusi Organics, who make soap. And um, Akusi and us together made soap from the used vegetable oil, and we added that into the care packages for the families that we are supporting in Korokocho. Marabush Camp has always been one of the front runners in no plastic or, or the elimination of single-use plastic, which is also what we won the Eco Warrior Award for in 2019. And um, we have done a number of things at our camp 
to eliminate single-use plastic. We are very passionate about that. And uh, the idea of recycling old-used vegetable oil uh, and make it into soap is definitely a fantastic idea to recycle used things and make it into something sustainable. We collected plastic milk bottles from Bio and uh, washed these out and used them as containers to distribute the soap. Sustainable Inclusive Business Kenya has been instrumental in broadcasting the efforts that we are making in terms of recycling and really circular economy. And they've also been instrumental in educating us and also others in our industry uh, to uh, look at a circular economy in the sense that um, like our soap project really would fall into that. And uh, they're helping us to broadcast this through a platform uh, where we have advertised for the donation of used vegetable oil so we can continue with Akuzi to make the soap and to distribute it to the needy here in the slums. We've always thought about the planet. Uh, we have won the Eco Warrior Awards for both Mara Bush Camp and also Sunworld Safaris as Green Champion Tour Operators. And I certainly always will look after our staff members as they are a very important resource, as I mentioned earlier. We have been doing educational wildlife tours for many years. Um, in fact, for the last 13 years with Korokocho Slum and with a school called St. John School, where we take usually 80 to 90 students um, once or twice or even three times a year on a trip out to various national parks and game reserves. And we show them a day out. And the day out really is to show them the beauty of their country um, to inform them about the importance of conservation and about how amazing it is to experience wildlife um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. It's certainly an opportunity that the tourism industry can now come together as one and can also look at how we have been operating in the past. That does not necessarily mean to look at only international markets, but definitely also at the domestic and regional tourism as our CS suggested. However, we do need to make a number of adjustments in order to make this successful. Pricing is one. Um, I feel that the local and domestic market cannot afford the prices that we charge in both uh, national parks, game reserves, and also accommodation facilities, um, and as well as transportation. So we really need to rethink our strategy when we look at the domestic market. We need to look at the protection of our wildlife, which is really our key heritage and what we are selling. Without our wildlife tomorrow, we will have nothing to sell as an industry.